Here we are on the first tee. Uh, I guess you can see it's a little more open now. Let me zoom down there. I don't know if you can pick up that flag. Yeah, you should be able to. That's the pin. Don't really know the distance. Not too long. I'll walk that. All right, see you, Rod. And here we are at the pin. Let me spin back around. There's looking back at the first tee. I'm guessing maybe 240, something like that. Here's our walkway to the next hole. Holes a real shorty. Right back towards the Jeep again. There's one tree in the way. Pin will be somewhere behind the tree. I don't think we have a flag down there right now. It'll be right behind that tree somewhere. Just cleaned out the low stuff here. Didn't really do much cutting. Here I am at the pin as I spin back around. See the walkway to number three. And there's back towards the T. Zoom back in. There's the flags. Real short hole. I don't know, maybe 180, something like that. Got to deuce it though. This one tree right here in the way. We're just behind it. There's the walkway to the next hole. See the flags there. This hole turned out to be a little bit longer than I thought it would. It goes up over a little hill. It goes to the right of those pine trees that I'm zooming in on. And then kind of straightens out. We'll walk it here in a second. There's that big tree up there. Uh, it goes left of that by, oh, quite a few feet. Walk this. You can see the flag between the pine trees there as soon as we came up that hill a little bit. I'm not sure where the pin's going to be for sure. Could be off to the right behind that pine. Could just be straight through here. And here's this big opening again. As I explained earlier, several holes over there. As I turn back around, there's the look back at the tee. Can't see it, it's over the hill. Short little hole. I think it measured out about 260 though. So it'll be fine. Next tee's right over here. Some debate about where to put this tee. We may put the tee up there where I'm aiming now and play through there. However, for now, we have cut right through here. It's a big, long dogleg right. It's 
through those two pines, past that lone pine in the distance, and then you got to turn right. Don't have an idea on distance yet. We'll walk it here. Okay, we're through the two pines, coming at the single lone pine in the distance. We cut the fairway left of that. As you can see, when we get around the corner here, it continues to bend to the right. A fairway tree here. And one more bend to the right. Finish it up. You'll see the flags as we come around the corner. There they are. Nice hole. Big long right side bender. Got a natural clearing back here that the hole will be centered in. I'll spin back around and look back down the fairway. And I'm on the pin now. There we are. Back up the fairway then, that direction. Next hole, off to our right here. Cut a path through here. There's the T. This hole ended up having a strange shape to it. Plays up this direction. I'll zoom up there. The fairway bends around to the right after those trees with the orange dots on them. I think you'll be able to pick that up on screen. Bends to the right and then ducks back down to the left. Really took shape after we got some trees out of here, but it's a strange shape. We'll have to see how it throws, see if we need to do any more cutting. Here we are up by the trees with the orange dots on them. And then you see it comes over this hill down between these two pines to the finish. Measured, I think, 270. Yeah, I tripped. This is back up the fairway, so you don't see much from here. Well, actually that tree is one of the orange dotted trees, so the hole might be pretty straight. Kind of a little left and a little right, I think. Strange shape to it. Have to play it to get the feel. Here's our walkway to the next hole. Last time I filmed this, I didn't know where I was going. Now I do. Walk up to the grassy knoll. I'm almost to the T. Our flags got moved around here, but the T will be right here. It's dead straight. A little bit downhill. Between some pines. Accuracy a must. There's the pin. I think this one, well stepped about 270 when, before we cleared it. It may step a little shorter now, now that we can walk straight at it. Of course, we can back the tee up a ways, too. So, we'll see how that works out.
don't think it feels like 270. As we come down here, we talked about cutting up to our left in that direction for a B pin. However, pretty quickly we ran into the 11th fairway. So we can't really go very far that way, if at all. So here I am at the pin. And I'll spin back around. Look back up. From the grass, you know, you can tell that it's uphill. Not, or the hole is downhill, uphill from here to the tee. Not severely, but enough. All right. Here's our walkway to the seventh hole. We moved the tee once we started cutting. We did have the tee about right where I'm standing, cutting up between those pines. However, that turned out to be dumb. So we're now moving over here. to about right here, up between the pines, makes it a little straighter off the tee, but as you'll see, it's still quite an interesting hole. We go all the way up, way in the distance, you can see pines on the right, other trees on your left. Those trees on your left actually become the middle of the hole. As you'll see, middle of the fairway, that is. I think it was about 250, 270 to the trees that are in the middle of the fairway. And then we split the fairway around the trees. I think the total hole length stepped off to almost 390. Here's the trees. You can see we cut both around to the right and to the left of them. Not much room to the left, but gives you somewhere to land in the 300 range. Pulls a little uphill and then back down. I'll walk around the right side. There, you can see we went both sides. And there's no flags on the pin, but it's right down here in this clearing that you see we're coming to. We removed the flags. Right about here will be the pin. And if I spin back around, there's the fairway trees. And the fairway's up there somewhere. And back over here is our walkway out to the eighth tee around this corner and we have our tee. Our tee will be right here short of these two trees. Don't have flags right now. But you can see straight shot with a few trees up there. I'm almost out of battery. Straight up through there. Try walking it. Rod had already cleared this when I filmed it the first time. I cleared some of it, but the bush hog's been through now. Cleaned it up a little bit more even. I'll have to come left of this bush and find some way through these trees. There's the pin. Turn back around. And the tea's somewhere back there. 